like we have discussed in our previous video on Schrodinger equation that wave function outside 1D box is zero. That is the case when we have infinite potential at the boundary. But what if we have finite potential at the boundary? Classically, it is not possible for a particle to penetrate the box. It will always remain in between. But quantum mechanically, it is not so. Particle can penetrate the wall and in this video, we are going to discuss this phenomenon, which is known as quantum tunneling. Let us first understand the problem in a simple way. Consider a ball and an inclined plane as a barrier to the path of the ball. Now assume the ball have to cross this inclined plane. So for that we have to apply some amount of energy to the ball. If the energy is insufficient, the ball will not be able to cross the barrier and will return back. So what we need to do is we have to provide the ball kinetic energy greater than the potential energy of the ball which it will attain at maximum point of the inclined plane that is mgh now the ball easily crosses the barrier losing some of its energy now take a same type of example at quantum scale consider an electron which can only move along one axis like we have taken in our previous video on schrodinger equation and assume that there is a barrier in the path of electron let's say due to the electrostatic potential of an another electron so due to this electrostatic repulsion of the other electron, there is a region of space where the influence is felt by first electron while passing it. When first electron try to cross this region, the second electron exert force on it. And if energy of the electron is not sufficient, that is energy is less than V0, it will bounce back and remains on the left hand side of the barrier. And when energy of the electron is sufficient larger, that is E greater than V, it can be anywhere. And while crossing the potential barrier, the speed of the electron decreases due to the loss of energy. So this is all classical. No excited thing till now. But when electron have less energy than the potential barrier V0, even then it has chances of crossing the barrier. So here comes the interesting thing, which can be explained quantum mechanically. Let's first simplify our potential barrier. Just for the sake of explanation, consider it of rectangular form. Now we will use Schrodinger equation to analyze the problem. We have two cases, energy greater than V0 and second, energy less than V0. Case 1, when energy is greater than V0, it is not interesting as it is all classical. And solution to this case is like this. And probability density function for this case look like this. Electron can be anywhere in this case. Now case 2, energy is less than V. First divide our problem in 3 regions and name it as 1, 2 and 3 which have different potential value. Now on doing calculation by using Schrodinger equation we can find the wave function. But let's don't go thematical in this video. I will make a different video on that in future. But if you are curious how we will calculate the wave function you can see my video on finite 1D potential well for reference. It has almost same type of calculation. So on doing calculation using Schrodinger equation, we get wave function of this form in the three regions. In region 1, we have terms EIK1x and E-IK1x term, which means wave is propagating along on both sides, x and minus x. Term EIK1x corresponds to incident wave and term E-K1x corresponds to reflected wave and V square by A square gives the reflection coefficient. In region 3, we have a function having term EIK1x, which confirms that there are chances of finding electron there, otherwise it comes out to be zero. When we plot probability density function for all three regions, it comes out to be this. Now here, there is one more factor to be taken care of, as we have exponential decaying function in region 2, and if we have wider potential barrier, we may have no wave function in region 3 as it will die in region 2 means with increase in value of weight more electrons are reflected back and after a particular value no electron can be there as a result of which there is zero wave function in region 3 using boundary condition in solution for wave function we can find constant a b and f and ratio of b square by a square gives the reflection coefficient and the ratio of f square by a square gives the transmission coefficient. Here a is the coefficient corresponding to the incident wave, b is the coefficient corresponding to the reflection wave and f 
is the coefficient corresponding to the transmitted wave. In expression of transmission coefficient and reflection coefficient, we see that they also depend on the width of the potential barrier. So quantum tunneling also depends upon the width of the potential barrier, which is given by this expression. Don't care about this expression for now. This is all mathematical. So now we have understood what is quantum tunneling. Quantum tunneling is used in tunnel drive, quantum computing and scanning tunneling microscope. So that's all for this video. If you have watched this video till here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next video.